Hello, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. We are officially in the 20s. <laughs> I still, I know I say it every day, I cannot believe how fast this year and this month is going by. But you guys, today is my 37th birthday, and I have spent all morning getting the most sweet phone calls, texts, uh, messages, comments like I've gone through every time like I set my phone down it goes off again and I just feel so loved so thank you all so much um I feel so blessed I feel so excited for this year I actually feel really great about turning another year older because I'm just so grateful for life and I'm grateful for my family and my friends and I'm grateful for all of you and what I get to do over here on YouTube I'm just very like I feel all like gushy and emotional today. I just feel really, really blessed. So you guys are going to get to come spend my birthday with me. Um, the boys, I guess, wanted to celebrate all night long because I got very little sleep. Mark has a cold. I'm hoping that's all it is. Um, he just has like a little bit of a cough and a little bit of a runny nose. But as soon as he lays down, you know, he just is, feels miserable. So he was up until after midnight, up and down, up and down. And then Nate got up at like 3.45 this morning. So I'm dragging real hard today. I've had my coffee. That's okay. We're going to have a great day. We're going to push forward. I woke up to the sweetest surprise. I tried to show you guys. The kids all made me a card. And David, I love the homemade cards. David always does a great job like making the cards and putting pictures in there. And so each one of them made me a card. Here's Marky's. And then um, David made me a card too with our pictures on it. And it was so sweet. And then he got me the most beautiful flowers. They're so pretty and like cheerful, which is exactly how I feel today. Like happy and cheerful. So I'm going to enjoy these. I want to get like my dining room table cleared off and the kitchen kind of picked up so that I can like display them on the table or something uh, this week. But um, anyway, it's just been a really great morning. So I'm glad Glad to be here on the vlog for another fun Vlogmas day. Here is the plan for the day, and we've kind of got to get moving on that. Um, busy Monday. It doesn't really feel like a Monday. I'm not sure why. <laughs> um, I have to go to Nate's school today. I get to go. I'm excited about it. I get to go to Nate's school, and their teachers are having a luncheon today, so they're getting parents to come and help sit with the kids so the teachers can enjoy their luncheon. So I was so excited that Nate's teacher asked me to come help do that. And, um, I get to come, you know, hang out with him and his friends for a little bit this morning. David is at work. They're having a Christmas party today. So Mark is going to go hang out with him. And I sent all the food. I ended up sending some leftovers that we had from yesterday. We had so many with David. And I really didn't have to make anything extra because we really need to use up those leftovers. So there's like meatballs and rolls and all kinds of stuff. So I sent all that with him and I'm going to go drop Mark off here in a minute. And so they can hang out together and then I'll pick Mark up after I get done at Nate's school. Um, also big plans for today is I want to go to Starbucks of course and get my birthday reward drink. One of my favorite perks about being a Starbucks, you know, what rewards member or whatever is you get a free birthday drink on your birthday and it can be whatever you want, anything you want. It's awesome. <laughs> but you know, like I've cut out a lot of stuff for my diet. I feel so good. Like there will be no birthday cake today. I have no desire to have that. I have no desire to have any of like the, the foods that got me to where I was, uh, before I started this journey. So I'm probably going to get my favorite drink, which is an Americano, but I'll probably just get a really big one. <laughs> so stay tuned. I'll show you guys that. But I wanted to share a non-scale victory. So many of you guys are cheering me on, and so I wanted to share. Okay, and I'll show you guys in the mirror in a minute. But I have these jeans. I don't know where the jeans came from. Honestly, I don't really have any memory of buying them, or I don't know if somebody gave them to me. I don't know where they came from, but they've been in my closet forever. I remember... The only time they have ever fit was when I was doing keto, and it was right after we moved to Georgia. So if you've been around since that long, you get like a gold star. I was right after we moved, and um, 
I got down to where I could put these jeans on, but they were a tight fit, if you know what I mean. Like, I remember the, the last time I wore them, I know exactly the day it was. We went out to eat with our pastors, and I put them on, and I thought they fit okay. But then we sat down at the booth of the restaurant, and I was like, okay, they're cutting into me. Like, they were so uncomfortably tight. And then I never wore them again. And I've tried them on uh, several times over the years, and they've never even come close. Like, there's always been, like, that much room. They wouldn't button. Today, I saw them, and I was like, there's no way they're going to fit. I'm still not. I'm down, so I weighed in today. I'm down another 1.7 pounds, which is actually way more than I thought because it's like my period week and TMI, but it's been really rough. Um, so that's awesome. I am 29.8 pounds down. So that's amazing. So anyway, I put them on. I was like, they're not going to fit. They not only fit, they fit well. They don't fit tight at all. They feel actually really comfortable. So I wanted to show you these. Uh, I think they're size 16. I don't even know. I don't even know where they came from, but they've always been like in my closet. I never got rid of them. <laughs> so I'm really glad to have them because my size 18, I even have some twenties are way too big. Like they're uncomfortably big. So anyway, we're about to hit the road, but let me show you. Let me see. Okay. Don't judge my bathroom mirror because it is like kids toothpaste. I need a full size, like full length mirror. There's just not a good place to put it in our house. So I'm going to turn the camera around. Let's see. Let me turn the light off too so uh, y'all aren't blinded in the mirror. Okay. Okay, so here are the jeans. Actually, you may need the light. Does it help at all? Here are the jeans and they have like some distressing, but y'all, they, they like, they fit. They're not too tight. There's room. I'm wearing a sweater. I hope I don't get too hot, but I'm just... I'm so excited. That is such a huge non-scale victory. And that's like, you know, the scale is fun too, but the non-scale stuff where you're fitting into clothes, that's when it kind of seems more real to me. So anyway, we are about to hit the road. I'm going to go take Mark to David and then go hang out with Nate the Great for a little while. So I will catch up with you guys after that. We'll get our birthday Starbucks. And I don't know, I think we may go out to dinner to celebrate tonight. And the only present I asked for is a new bike. And so I'm not, I'm not sure if we're going to get that today. But in the next few days, we're going to go pick out a bike so that me and Lucy can bike around the neighborhood. And that'll be a great activity for us to do together. So anyway, I got to go. So I'll see you guys back in a little while. Hey, guys. I hope you can see me okay. It is sunny. Um, I'm here at the school, but I got here earlier than I anticipated. I wanted to be here early, but I just hit all the red lights the right way. You know, there wasn't a lot of traffic, so I'm just a little earlier. But poor Marky, it was so sad. I pulled up to the church and I was like, okay, daddy's going to come get you. And he said, mommy, please don't leave me heal. <laughs> I was like, buddy, it's going to be okay. So Mark, you know, he's with me all the time. And so leaving him, is just hard. Like he, it's good for him. We need to do it more often. But he's just always been with me because I've been at home with him. And so, you know, I leave to go to the store and do stuff like that. But I don't leave him places even, you know. And he he's used to being left with David. But it's just like the whole thing of like going into the church. And it's not church time and what's going on. But I know he'll have fun with David. So, all right. There's a lot of moms getting out. So I'm going to go ahead and get out early, I guess. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we are back home. It was a great time at the school. I was there for a couple hours. I'm so glad that I got to do that and help out so the teachers could go to their luncheon. I was in there with a couple other moms. It was great to get to meet them. Um, Nate always looks at me kind of curiously when I'm at his school. It's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> and then when it was over, um, they were saying all the moms could check out their kids if they wanted to. Uh, it wouldn't like count against their attendance or whatever. Cause it was like one o'clock when I was leaving and school, you know, they only had a little bit longer before school was going to be out. But he was like, no, I said, do you want to come home with mommy? Me check you out. And he was like, no, I want to ride the bus. <laughs> so I was like, okay, <laughs> which I am so glad. I am so glad that he loves school that much. He loves his routine. I'm, I'm so happy he has that. Um, and then David met me at Starbucks because I was headed to Starbucks because y'all know why. And, um, he brought Mark to me. So I didn't have to drive all the way back to the church and Mark was ready to come home. So I got Mark, we are back home and it's like now two o'clock. The day has flown by. Um, 
normally on my birthday, I get the sugariest whatever, like extra caramel, all of this stuff because I'm like, it's free. And um, I feel like crap after I drink that. Free or not, I'm not doing that to myself. So I got my favorite on plan birthday drink and this is a venti iced Americano with blonde espresso instead of the regular. The blonde espresso is just a smoother, it's not as strong, it's not as bitter, I like it better. So I always sub out the blonde espresso. What I'm gonna do is drink about half of this just black and then I'm gonna mix up a vanilla protein shake and do like a little latte playlist going outside to go to the bathroom. And do you guys see, I don't know if you can see, our backyard is covered in leaves. That's going to be a project for the next little bit is to rake or we have a leaf blower, blow the leaves into a pile or something. Our front yard and our backyard are just covered. But anyway, I'm going to put a, I just, um, a protein shake in here once I drink a little bit of it and do like a little latte like that. So, um, I wanted to show you guys our Christmas card this year. So I didn't do a card exchange on the vlog, uh, on, you know, on my channel this year. I'm hoping to bring that back. I just honestly did not have the time, but I did order a few cards for friends and family. And I think everybody now has received theirs, um, that would watch this. And I don't want to ruin it by showing you earlier, but this is a Christmas card virtual for me to you since we didn't get to do a real card exchange this year. Hopefully we can bring that back. I still wanted to show you guys the card you would have gotten if we did do one. And so all of this, this card is for all of you. So just want you to see it. Um, I just put the kids on it this year instead of a picture of the whole family. And I love the way it turned out. I love that picture. Everybody looks so handsome and beautiful and they're all smiling and I love this. I got these cards, my favorite place to order Christmas cards from, Sam's. I know that's random. Even when I didn't have a Sam's membership, I would order it because I don't think you have to to order cards. I can't remember, but I would either pay the fee that it was for non-members or I would um, whatever I had to do to get order from them because they're so cheap. I got 50 cards for friends and family for $15 shipped. Like, that is so cheap. I couldn't really, I don't even think I could buy cards, just blank cards, let alone photo cards for that cheap. And it comes with the envelopes and all that, too. <sighs> so, anyway, Layla's happy that I'm home, and I am, too. Uh, I have a lot to do this week, but I'm not doing it today. I'm not going to wrap anything unless I really, I do have to wrap something for Lucy because her party's tomorrow at school, and we've got to get her teacher gift. And she has a gift for one of her best friends. So I'm going to wrap that later. But I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to spend the rest of the week doing that. But my birthday, I'm just going to try to do some stuff for me. You know, I've learned a lot in the last few months about not pouring from an empty cup. You can't pour from an empty cup. I know that sounds cliche, but it's the truth. You have to take care of yourself to be the best mom, to be the best friend, to be the best wife, to be the best daughter, sister, you, you know, fill in the blank. You have to take care of yourself. And so many times as moms, we give and we give and we give and we give and we do this and we put ourselves last and we do all this. And it's not, we think we're being selfless. We think that that's what we should do. But I'm telling you from me learning it the hard way, you can't be the best mom for your kids if you don't take care of yourself. And I am trying to pr prioritize that this coming year. Of course, my kids are always going to be my top priority. I'm not saying that they're not, obviously, but I at least need to make the list as well, <laughs> you know, and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to, you know, maybe do a little bit of work on my phone, but I'm not going to do a bunch of stuff around the house today. I will get to all of that tomorrow. I'm tired. It's been a very um, sleepless few nights and I'm going to prioritize taking care of myself, so I'll bring you guys around for the next little bit of the day and we will spend it together. Layla is crying because she wants me to come sit down with her. That is why she's crying. When I get home from being gone, she circles me and cries until I sit down because she thinks she's a spoiled little lap dog and she needs somebody's lap to sit in. So I'm going to go provide that and I'll see y'all back later. Hey guys, so you missed a little bit. I'm going to fill you in. 
we went and had dinner. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys about that. But Mark and Nate insisted I have um, a cupcake to blow out. They want they want a cupcake. They, or Mark wants a cupcake. And um, so I had to run by Walmart to get something. So we grabbed some cupcakes for the kids to have to celebrate my birthday. So that's what you're going to see next. And then we'll recap what I did, didn't vlog today. All right. I got the whole family here. Hey, everybody. Come here. Nick, come here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Everybody blow. Yay! <laughs> Thank you guys. I had to turn my bright light on because it is really late and I am so tired after barely sleeping last night. I'm sorry, I just didn't vlog a lot this afternoon, but that's okay because I was enjoying my family and um, really once the kids got home from school, um, you know, it was like just a little bit and then David got home um, probably about an hour after Nate and we decided to go have a birthday dinner, which was so nice. We just went right down the road to a Mexican restaurant. And um, the kids love this place because they have a robot. It's the place that has the robot bring you the chips and salsa. <laughs> it's so funny. Although Nate was a little freaked out about it, not going to lie. Um, it wasn't a wait at all. It's a really big place. And it was so good. So um, normally when I eat Mexican food, you know, like the chips and salsa are my favorite part. Since I've been doing this new healthy lifestyle, I'm not eating chips. I can have salsa, but I'm not eating chips. And I just realized I ate my whole taco salad and I didn't put any salsa on there. I didn't even, I didn't even think about it. Anyway, I can have salsa, just not chips. And so normally I just get a taco salad. I don't get a shell. Only problem with that is it's not a lot of veggies. I don't like tomatoes, so I have them take that off. So it's basically just a little bit of lettuce, like a little bit of lettuce and then meat. And usually they put like a little bit of guacamole and some cheese. I usually try to steer clear of the sour cream and a lot of the cheese because sometimes it's a lot. But um, it's like my favorite go-to meal is a taco salad. So today before we left, I had the bright idea of why don't I bring some of my own veggies? <laughs> no shame. Um, years ago, I guess this is what happens with getting older. Years ago, I would have been so embarrassed to eat something different than someone else, choose to not eat at all. Fasting taught me that. Like if I'm at an event and I'm not, if I don't want to eat, like I just won't eat. And before I'd be like, oh, people think I'm weird. Like nobody, nobody has ever thought that. And if they did, they never said anything to me. So I don't think most people notice. So anyway, I was like, I'm going to bring some cut up peppers. And then when I get my taco salad, I can like scoop it up and eat it like nachos, but I'll have my peppers. It'll be extra veggies. So I did that. And y'all, it was my like favorite meal I've had in a long time. It was so good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I felt great afterward. Normally when I would leave a Mexican restaurant, I would feel like terrible because I would eat like two baskets of chips myself. And I've told you guys this before, but when I would try to restrict the number of chips, like, we'll just have, like, 10 chips. Just have, like, 15 at the most. I just couldn't do that because as soon as I had one, I wanted the whole thing. I wanted more. And if I just don't eat the chips, I feel fine. Like, it's just that whole thing of one leads to more. If I can just cut it off at the track, then I know not everybody's like that, but that's just really been working for me. I thoroughly enjoyed my meal. We actually sat right beside Nate's teacher's. They were out um, for dinner and like we got sat right by them. So Nate again looked at them like he was looking at me this morning like, why are you guys here? You're supposed to be at school. And um, it was fun getting to see them. And then after that, the boys were saying that I needed a cake because Nate does not like cake. But to him, a birthday means you're blowing out a candle on a cake. And then Mark heard that and he was like, yes, we need cake. So. I told David, like, I have no desire to eat cake at all. Cake is not even one of those things that is even worth it to me. And so, but I was like, if they want it, it'll be a fun, 
photo shoot moment and uh, the memory for them because to them it's very important. And so um, David brought the boys home and gave them a quick bath and me and Lucy ran to Walmart. I needed to get a couple things anyway for some presents. I can't show y'all, but a couple presents I'm putting together. So we got that and then I went to the bakery section and just got a couple little cupcakes and uh, came back and they y'all saw them sing to me and they just loved that and helping me blow up the candle and it was it was so sweet. Okay, and again, Lucy is in bed and I'm about to do the advent calendar. I keep saying I'm going to let her help me and then we just get so busy and it's been a crazy day so I haven't gotten to do it. Um, I have really felt exhausted today obviously not sleeping much last night that'll do it to you so <laughs> I feel like I look a little uh tired and that's because I am so let's do the advent calendar I hope Mark sleeps better he's still got a little cold I mean he's played he's ate really good today he's just congested so you know as soon as he lays down all that stuff settles and it's hard to sleep so okay day 20 it's like a medium sized box Let's see the hint. Strong to the tips of my nails. I did paint my nails uh, last night, the one we got yesterday. And then Lucy loved it, and so she also had her nails painted today. <laughs> oh, it is a whole little pack of fingernail files. It's like, oh, it's two of them. It looks like more. It's two fingernail files, which would be great to stick in my purse. Because I'm really bad if, like, my fingernail breaks or something, I will just bite it off. <laughs> Does anybody else bite their nails? It's a terrible habit. So, that'll be nice to have. I always get fingernail files and then lose them. So, I need to find a good place to keep that. Okay, I'm going to stick that back in. I, I follow somebody who has this exact um, advent calendar. But she takes the boxes out each time. And so, they're all, like, shifting around. And she's like, the other day she says on her vlog, like, I hate this having calendar because it doesn't stay together. And I'm like, you're supposed to leave. I mean, I think you're supposed to leave the boxes in there. Otherwise, it, it looks weird. <laughs> so um, if you get that advent calendar, it'll, it, it will go better if you just empty the box and then put it back in. And they won't shift all around and fall out and all that. They stay really together. Like, I can even stand it straight up and it's not going to fall over. Um, Anyway, I know that's riveting content. <laughs> Tomorrow, I've got to be up early to get ready pretty much the same time the kids do because Lucy has a party tomorrow from 8.30 to 9.30. They're letting parents come. I feel like this is the first year since before COVID that we've been able to go to Christmas parties. Like, we didn't get to go in Indiana to Christmas parties. They had, and they, I don't know if they did here last year or not, but um, I'm excited for that. She is so excited for me to meet her friends and see her room. I mean, I saw it, you know, before she started school in August, but just to see like all of her stuff she's made and all that. So she told me that her teacher said that after it's over, you can be checked out. And I'm like, you want me to check you out at 930? And she's like, yes. So I don't know. We'll see if they, if they really let you then I guess and it doesn't count against you, then why not? I know this week there's not going to be a whole lot of actual work being done. <laughs> the teachers, um, bless their hearts. I know they're ready to be out. I mean, this is late for them going, and I appreciate them so much. After being there for two hours today, I can tell you I appreciate them so much. I mean, the kids were great today, but I know how hard they work. It's, it's an exhausting job. Um, but this was my birthday. This was 37. And like I told you guys yesterday, I feel really good about 37. David was joking to me today. And he's like, how does 27, how does it feel to be 27? And I'm like, you know what? I'm okay with being 37. It's going to be even better than 27. I just, um, I feel better than I did when I was 27, honestly. Like I feel so much renewed hope. I was talking to a few of you guys on messages today and I was just telling you, for so long, I just felt like I was going to struggle with my weight for the rest of my life. I would never be able to lose it. And I would keep trying and failing, keep trying and failing. But honestly, like I have hope that I'm going to be able to see this through. And I know I'm only 30 pounds down and that's easier said than done probably in some of your eyes. But the way I feel on, on the inside is that the hardest part's already done. And now 
it's just been easy. <laughs> like, I know that's so annoying to hear, but I just feel so much hope that this time I'm going to do it. I am 20 pounds away from being under 200 pounds and being in wonderland, as they call it. And when I hit that, like, what should I do? Like, my coach was talking to me today about, like, you need to have some sort of celebratory thing, like, uh, celebrate your this huge milestone. I haven't been under 200 pounds since I met David, since I was probably before nursing school. <laughs> so that was, I graduated, I went into nursing school in 2007. So that's a lot, that's a long time. Um, and I remember like right before I went into nursing school, I got on the scale and I was like 195 and I was like, oh no, I'm getting close to 200 again. Cause I had lost a little bit of weight before college. And then of course at college put more on and then nursing school, the stress and all that. And then by the time you get married and you're having babies, you know, it just adds up. And, um, let me know though, what, what should I do for the, for hitting that milestone? I want to start planning now so that when I hit it, it'll just help me already have a plan. But I want to do something for myself. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be, but you guys help me think about it. All right, sorry about that, you guys. I was checking on Marky. He's in there coughing a little bit, but he's quiet. So I'm hoping that he rests well. But anyway, I am exhausted. I really want to try to get this video at least somewhat edited tonight because tomorrow um, is going to be really busy. And I want to focus on presents, wrapping. Um, doing some other things I need to do with presents and the house because <laughs> I didn't do any housework today. It felt amazing, but that's got to change. <laughs> like that has got to change because when we leave here on Sunday, I want this house clean and I'm going to make it happen. Um, so yes. Anyway, that is it for today, y'all. Stay tuned for tomorrow. If you like today's vlog, Vlogmas Day 20, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.